Hey guys, it's going to do here. I'm back with another video. Now today I got something special for you. Yeah, reacting to a Nukes top five video. If you like this kind of content, like my content, please hit that like button. Subscribe to me. I really appreciate it. We're getting forever closer to that 100k. Okay, so let's jump into five scary ghost videos to make you punch the screen. Now I've got a beautiful monitor in front of me here, a very wide LG that I'd rather not punch. So hopefully, Nukes is wrong. Here we go. Got my Monster oh, Energy goes. Ultra. How many times would he be like, Single did you dad, see Alex it? Calvo inherited his estranged grandmother's house in Florida after her recent passing. So he and his daughters packed their bags and moved to the home to start a new life. Interesting. The house has been in his family for four generations. Inherent house. And has been left mostly untouched. What were we saying? In fact, when they move in, the home is still full of his grandmother's belongings. Alex begins to record moments from his family's move to the new house and shares his experiences on Kinda TikTok. Kind of looks so When they first arrive, Alex posts a video think of the event. So lozzy. But concerned viewers soon point out to him that there is something very disturbing in the video. What's Alex that? is shocked. Oh, look at our but he's new not chilled. House. Wow. This is cool, right? Better than an apartment. Okay. Got everybody here. Heading on into the new house for the first time. I mean, it's creepy as shit, yeah. isn't it? See how scary? Oh, it's kind of scary, actually. That's what oh, you want to hear your dad stuff. say when you're a little kid. Dad. Dollhouse for you, Salo. <laughs> Jesus. I tell you what, fuck this place, man. Um, this kitchen's pretty nice. Turn the lights on, dude. They close the door. Nice double door for front door. Did you I'd see love it. it? Alex walks past a mirror. A creepy dark figure can be seen in the reflection. Oh, Alex dude. says that he has no oh, idea. I, but what wait, this could have hold, been. hold. What? Hang on a second. I've just clocked his chat his TikTok name. Alex Calvo is haunted. Now he either and this may have been explained in the intro, and I do apologize if I've just missed it while sipping on my Monster Energy Ultra. He's either you know, recorded these videos. It's like, oh, look, we're moving into a new house. You know, my grandmother sadly passed away, but she's given us their ha her house. Amazing, amazing. Or his whole thing is being haunted, in which case he has rigged all of this to living shit. I'm on to you, Alex. A little over a month later, and in the middle of the night, this happens. Okay, Definitely I just heard daytime. A loud bang out here. It's the middle of the night. Sounded like it was coming from the kitchen. He's got a pool table. He's inherited a pool table. Hello? Man. Oh. I, I suspense that's when you know you're rich. Uh, hello? Is that a fucking growl? Really? Is there somebody here? Is there somebody in here? What the f Alex hears a loud bang and goes to investigate when a chair suddenly just moves on. Oh, I didn't own. see the chair move. Hello? Conveniently oh. pulled into a dark and then, corridor. Only two weeks later, he films another chilling experience. Didn't address the growl. Maybe that was Alex so I himself. I just captured something else on tape. Um, while I was actually taking the tape, I did not notice it at all. But you go ahead and take a look at it and tell me what you think. Of the tape. Okay, I just heard a really a loud tape noise going on up here from the same place where all the other stuff has been going on. Like something was dragging across the floor. Um, turn on the lights, like everybody says. <laughs> okay. Could have been a cut there, but then no, not a real useful one. Let's see, I don't know. Oh, you dirty no, bastard. No, Real or fake. Down here. I fucking Alex hate it when they the do that, that he man. He accidentally records what seems to be a pale face staring at him from That's the doorway. That's disgusting. He starts to believe that whatever is making the strange noises and appearing in his videos... Until you slow it down and look at it, it's just a shitty cheap mask. Grandmother. Don't know about that, unless she had a buzz cut, which she may have done. Nothing wrong with a nan with a buzz cut. 
Okay, I am up here where all the different like scary activity has happened, and oh my I'm god, hearing what sounds like somebody walk around on the floorboards. As I'm it's up here, you, I feel like the pressure of steps landing around me. Um, I don't the really pressure know what's of steps on. landing uh, around you. Crazy to me. I, I just this is I don't know. This is not what I signed up for when I got this house. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Did he just fall on the floor? Come on, what was that? Holy <laughs> Holy that Come on, Alex, get your act, get your acting game like on now, son. Mother. Oh my god. I want to see that Emmy. I mean, it was a magnificent oh fall. Ten out of ten on the dive. The f***ing robe is sitting there on the floor. Are you kidding me? Holy now, obviously, when he dropped Alex the camera, it's very right easy to Someone appears to be standing cut. in his doorway. By the time he manages to collect himself, whoever... I have to say, if he's making this out, it's a bit disrespectful to your grandmother, isn't it? ...by his grandmother? And if not, then just what is this? I highly recommend that you watch Alex's full story... ...his girlfriend. ...age, Alex Calvo is haunted. See what I mean? Like, it's it's in his interest to be haunted with a name like Ray Alex Calvo is haunted. ...says that she was home completely Bunny all alone with just her grandchild. When she gave the baby her old phone to play with, the child accidentally starts recording a video. Oh, no way. Something chilling. Oh, oh no way. <laughs> Cute kid. Your butt. You smell like you poopy. Don't film changing your baby's bum, for fuck's sake. What's the kid captured? Oh, shit. Shit. Are you Did joking? You Reddit user Bunny Toes is shocked when she looks back at the footage. Her grandchild seems to what have recorded a tall, shadow-like figure standing right behind them. The astonished Reddit user believes the apparition to possibly be her husband's deceased grandmother, who passed oh, away geez. six years ago on the exact same spot where the figure can be seen in the video. But is it that a shadow is figure horrible. Or just a I don't know, that kid's gonna be a future cinematographer. The ghost hunting channel and you caught something great. Nukes, I sent you a few emails, mate. Gmail. You haven't put it in your fucking video, son. Abby Hernandez Alvarez. Now the name Abby Hernandez oh. Alvarez might sound familiar to you because over the last year and a half, I've featured his continuing frightening story. Wouldn't fucking feature mine. In Mexico City and claims that he suddenly began to experience terrifying paranormal activity Whoa. at all hours. Objects would move on their own, doors oh. slam shut, and the sound of high heels and knocking were heard in the halls. Very Most odd. horrifying of all, a strange female entity began to appear in mirrors oh. around his house, and then the apparition even physically I think I've attacked seen that one. Abiyud. In oh, his yeah, last seen video that. Yeah, posted yeah, yeah. to Facebook, he recorded a shocking encounter with this the female rank. spirit he calls Zaya, and then he just sort of disappeared for a while. Uh -oh. Abiud has since returned and adopted a cute Abiud. little puppy named Milo. It's oh, not long before Milo starts to regularly react nervously to something that Abiud can't see. One oh, night gosh. when Abiud is fast asleep in bed, a static I'm camera scared. records something very strange. It's my only issue with dogs, they bark. Now that's not ideal if you're trying to sleep, do you know what I mean? How is he not reacting to that? How is that... N it's a bit weird. Dude, you got a fucking alien in your house, not a demon. I don't know why he doesn't wake up. That makes me feel like this is fake. In the mirror. Fuck you. Mirrors wet. I'm not enjoying this, guys. I'm not enjoying this one. Because I know that fucking woman's in this dude's videos. Well, he's got the bear out of the shot. It's probably for a reason. No? I'm scared. I'm scared. Fuck you. Fuck you. No. Oh, what? Oh, shut up. Shut up. Very good. If you're making a horror short, I appreciate it, but the fucking... The light's going out so you can cut. 
to draw something on your mirror, mate. Amateur. I'm trying too hard there, mate. You're building up really good suspense. I was scared. That's just a bit much. What looks like a terrifying clone of himself charges toward Abiud, scaring him it's so just much that he stumbles to the ground. When he gets back up, there's nothing there. Also, a strange symbol that wasn't there before now appears on the mirror. When Abiud like checks it. out Don't the living room, something dark seems to be standing there with him, only visible Where? in the reflection in the living room mirror. After it's this mate. horrifying experience, Abiud takes his dog Milo on a long trip to just get away for a while. Yeah, but so, go back. is Abiud Hernandez Alvarez Ugh, apartment really violently chick, haunted? Dude. Or is it just some bizarre horror ARG? It makes me feel funny. Either way, the videos are terrifying. Write them in the comments, guys. What are we saying? The tunnels. The Founded tunnels. Founded in 1811, the seaside love city good of tunnel, Astoria, guys. Oregon has seen its fair share of dark history. Unless they come in the early strike, 1920s, yeah. most of the city tragically burnt to the ground. It was rebuilt with concrete reinforced pylons, creating a creepy hidden underground tunnel system. Many of these tunnels served as underground living space for the very poor. Owner Diana Gully says that she has always had a bad feeling that someone or something I want to do a ghost might tour. still be down in the tunnels I'm going to do a ghost tour soon. Guests have taken photos in the basement of a mysterious entity that seems to be sitting in a chair. Others have gotten nasty headaches during their visits, and some have even seen a large shadow figure. So when you're checking things, maybe you could get a little bit more information oh. about that. See, some things may uh, appear differently. Mm -hmm. What the fuck, dude? Sometimes they'll trick you. What the f I really want to do stuff like this where you like, you know, you set up a static camera, you know, in one of the corners of the building, blah, blah, blah. The thing that would terrify me is going to get it at the end of the investigation. That is fucking horrible, man. That is actually horrible. What the f***? And he knocked over my drink. I've never had this happen, ever. I was getting shot, and I hear someone walking like this. Okay. And it came right behind my ear, and they're breathing really heavy. Oh, no. Wow. I've never had this happen. I almost just freaking lost it. Tattoos on the neck. Okay. Very cool. <laughs> okay, but that was really scary. Using a rim pod and two EMF meters, they begin to ask questions to the spirit of Abigail, and things just get weirder. That just went to red. That just yeah. went to red. Are you filming it? That went all the way to red. Yes. Can you spike this one as well? This one in my hand? Just gonna pause Please. this a second. These, now these devices, um, since the investigation at the mental asylum, right? This is me being 100% genuine with you here, okay? These devices perplex me. Obviously they're actually used to pick up electric uh, currents and signals in your walls so that, you know, if you're going to drill a hole, you don't go through an electric cable and electrocute yourself, right? So they do pick up electromagnetic fields. It's literally what they're designed for. Now, obviously, in the ghost community, whether you believe it or not, they're like, well, you know, I think like ghosts manipulate the energy in the air, blah, 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 right? Well, when we did that investigation... I still can't explain to this day. I stood alone in a cell and Myra and Bailey walked off because I wanted them to. I wanted to be alone for this experience. And I checked all of the walls prior. There was no electric currents in that room. And then I began asking questions, you know, are you angry? Do you want us here? Blah, blah, blah. And it was changing to red perfectly at the end of my questions. Now, whether you believe it or not, Okay, these devices are designed to pick up electric magnetic fields. The room I was in, there was nothing, which is why it stayed green for so long. And when I asked specific questions, then it was like, go red for yes. It went to red. Now, is this evidence of the paranormal? I don't know. You know, I still don't know if I think ghosts exist or not, being completely transparent. I cannot explain that. You can be like, oh, it was faulty. Okay, it was faulty, but it hasn't been faulty since and it wasn't faulty prior. And the chances of it only changing at the end of my questions, and not all of them, only certain ones of which, 
you know, an answer for yes would be relevant. Very strange, very strange. And I just sort of bring it up because that's, that's literally the, the device I have. So that's, you know, one of the biggest question marks I have on this whole paranormal world was was that personal experience and that's all I can do all I can do is go off of personal experiences anyway tangent over I do apologize let's get back to five scary ghost videos to make you punch the screen whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. thank you thank you Abigail if this is you this is creepy are you shit. over here with us Oh. Uh, what? What? I just got what you got. But he's right here. But hang on. Ooh. Believable or not, location is excellent. What? Location is very cool. Definitely going to do another ghost investigation. Probably early 2022. But go big with it. I don't know if this shit is legit. I don't, uh, even after doing these investigations, I still don't know. Oh, spooky. But the unexplained the shape of someone seemingly walking around down in the tunnels is captured on camera. The ghost hunters have no idea what their camera has just recorded, but they do hear footsteps coming from that direction. Again, with this whole paranormal world and stuff being completely transparent, you know, I'm, I, I do these investigations because I want to see if I can discover for myself if this is legit. I don't want to be one of them people who, you know, sits at home and they're like, no, it's not real, shut up, it's not real, shut up. You know, it's like, okay, have you actually done anything outside of Google to try and see for yourself? If the answer is no, in the politest way possible, shut up. Uh, so I'm, you know, trying to discover for myself because I don't know. And here's the sad reality. I could go to a location and film a legitimate ghost. Holy shit, there is a ghost in front of me. I have it on camera right here and I'm presenting it to you. And the comments will be flooded with fake, 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 fake. So this is a, a venture where you can't win. And this is how you'll know that it's legit, okay? This is, this is a promise that I'll make you. A, I'm never gonna try and fake anything, but B, if I find something that is tangible enough for me to convince me that there is a paranormal world out there, that there is another side, there is life after death. Because please understand, I see myself as an agnostic atheist, so I don't believe in an afterlife. However, if God rocked up one day, I'd be like, okay, fair enough, I was wrong. If I discover that there is a form of afterlife or ghosts, etc., that will fundamentally change my entire belief system. So, if that is the case, the day I discover proof of the other side will be the last piece of ghost investigation I ever do. Because the whole point is to discover the answer. And if I get the answer, the game is over. So I won't milk it, anything like that. If I present to you evidence that is good enough for me, that will be the last piece of evidence that I provide. I'll still do all my true crime and all the rest of it and react to bollocks like this, but yeah, that's just... I feel like that's important for me to say. We'll crack on. Story with this next video goes that an anonymous Japanese man. Also, when I say bollocks like this, I'm not disrespecting nukes or, or anything, but obviously some of these submissions are clearly fake. And lost a bet with his friends, and so they dared him to explore an allegedly haunted forest completely alone. As proof, well, he must stupid. film the entire experience. He hikes into the woods just as the sun goes down. As you might suspect, it did not go well. I like the almost grainy Blair Witch feel. I'm so scared that this is going to be a jump scare here. Slightly concerned. Skin dark. Uh oh. The sun is going down. I'm scared. The music's doing a lot of work. This is the thing editing in these videos does a lot of the work. Oh god. Oh god. What? What's that? What the fuck is that? 
Oh my god, there's something coming out of the floor and it's a person. Holy fucking shit. That's nasty. If that jumps at the camera right now... The dude's just staring at it. Just filming it, man. Oh my god. That, wait, is this for real? Yeah, I mean, it's moving. I just hope that this is a prank and he's with you, mate. Because if it's not, I would fucking get the fuck away from that. The pale disembodied torso of a woman appears to crawl her way out of the forest, getting closer oh and closer. Oh my god. The man makes a run for it, and the video abruptly ends. Now, Japanese viewers say that the mysterious video has a basis in the frightening urban legend of Kashima Reiko. The story says that the vengeful spirit of a woman is forever looking for her lost legs. And if she happens upon someone, I feel like someone, I've done a video on the legs of anyone Reiko. she encounters. Thanks so Japanese much for watching. Please follow my Instagram. Japanese and Asian here. just horror culture, paranormal my culture is fucking here. fascinating, man. And my ticks are my tops. There we go. Whichever go you check out Nukes on all of his stuff. Pretty please. Thank you so much. What do we think? What was the worst one? 5, 4, 3, 2, or 1? What was the scariest one? Do let me know down below. I really appreciate it, guys. I hope you enjoy this kind of content. It's, it's really fun for me because, obviously, I get to just sit back, chill, relax, and, and react. And, and also, you know see other content that people in the paranormal space are making and, and, and enjoy it, you know, because obviously Nukes takes the, the juicy stuff and, and puts it into one video for you. So very scary. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Go over to Nukes, you know, and then go over and check out all the original uploaders of this content as well. Thank you so much. If you would like to support me, i got merch. My club and company allegedly possibly maybe. .co.uk, the link is down below. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you very soon. Sweet one, guys.